All right, YouTube, welcome back to the next part. And today we're going to be making the shop right here. As you can see, uh, there's multiple tabs right here, but everything should be fine. Uh, let's start off with, I guess, oops, the, the first tab right here. So let's start off by taking our achievements frame. Let's copy it. So I'm gonna hold alt. Just gonna drag this up. This is going to make a copy for us, and uh, the sizing is pretty much the same almost, at least horizontally. Uh, we just gotta take these three control C and let's resize this to the bottom. Okay, so all right, that's cool. We name this shop page one. Let's change the size to this. Exclusive shop. Okay, and let's let's hide, and uh, I'm gonna hide the other stuff for now. All right, so let's make this little tab here. So I'm just gonna take this thing that we have. Um, so right here, and for the background, I'm just gonna make it white because I don't want to have. These things to add. Um, actually, hold on. Let's enlarge it first. Okay. Let's match this up. It's a bit bigger. That's fine. All right. So, if we go into our blending options here, we could go gradient overlay, blend mode normal. Let's change the color. Go for this blue. Click here to make a new color stop thing let's call it okay so we got three colors and we can angle it so now angle it like this I guess hold on okay increase the scale so now we have this right here we could use our text tool when type 15 pets equipped Exclamation mark. Right click on the exclusive shop text, copy layer style, and right click, paste layer style. And we could also add some subtext at the bottom. Must own eight pets equipped first. And uh, we could make the font weight smaller. Like that. And the next tab is pretty much. The same thing except the gradient is different so the bottom color is white and it's just blue boom and the angle is 90 okay. and right here you can just add some text says exclusive pets remove the text effects and now we have our first uh, shop frame page so we're gonna move on to the trade right here um, so right here you select a person you want to trade with but now we're gonna make the actual trade uh, frame I'm going to combine uh, this video together with the one where we made the shop right here. So, you know, I feel like it would be kind of inconvenient if we split up shorter videos and stuff. So, might as well just combine these. But uh, yeah, let's copy the shop frame. You guys kind of already know the process of how this works. So. Yeah, that's, that's not wasting any time. Let me align this and let's go control T. We're going to drag this over here, right? And also this. Okay. Let me move this right here. All right, guys, so since we're just going to be using the same techniques um, from the previous videos, I'm just going to 
put on some music and let you guys watch but if you guys have not watched the first part uh, and the second part where I actually explain how we made these frames that we're going to be using over and over go ahead and watch those and you guys will get a good idea of how to of what I'm doing here since it's just gonna be kind of pointless for me to just keep commentating over the same steps over and over so yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoy Alright, so I just finished the trading frame as you can see here. Alright guys, uh, I think that is going to be all for the frames that we're going to be making. So in the next part, we're going to learn how to import uh, all of this into Studio. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And stay tuned for the final part where we're going to import these into Studio. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.